Peace, peace. Family, am I live? Are we live? I never did this before, so I don't know. Let me see. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. It's my first brother Bashir, Iman Bashir. It's the first uh, video, you know, that I'm doing. So, um, we're going to give the people, what's up family? We see y'all coming in the building. Make sure y'all respond. Make sure y'all give a holler. This is going to be real quick. I promise you, it's going to be real quick, family. So, look, we're going to get started because I don't want to be here long. This is going to be short. And the people that's not here, they're just going to have to look at the video, um, you know, after we post it. But it's going to be real quick. So, I was listening um, or looking at a live screen with, with Brother Polite. And we've been telling you about the, uh, how can I say it in a way that, that this nigga be scamming the people, period. That, that even there is ill intent inside of what he's pushing to the people. Now, on the live stream, long story short, he, he was saying how people were complaining that he was getting scams. They wasn't getting the products that they was being sent, etc., etc. And so he says, or essentially blames this on the government and PayPal. Right? So I want you guys that is listening to go ahead, pull up newcovenantplus.com. And you'll be able to, if you haven't seen the live stream, you'll be able to see the live stream with Polite talking about, you know, how PayPal or the government is scamming them, etc. Right? So I got this right on my phone here. And you can see up here it says newcovenantplus.com. And just one more time, Polite says, I don't know how PayPal is taking your money from, taking the money because we're not receiving it and you're not getting it back because we haven't used PayPal in years and don't understand why PayPal is still taking the money. So he claims that he don't have a clue as to why PayPal is taking the money of the people. So he's blaming it on the government and PayPal. But let's just see if he's telling the truth. Now, when you go over here, go to products, you hit products, right? You see me hitting products? Let's roll that up. We're going to hit books, right? We're going to go hit books. Over here, you have the books. I'm going to blow it up a little bit more. You see that? The suit of roommates send a tomb raid. That's polite. We all know. Now let's go buy this book. Let's buy this book for a second. So now, this book is $35. Right? Give me a second here because this internet is acting a little, a little slow right now. And it's all good. It's going to come through. Alright. So the image didn't come up yet. But you can see it says add to cart. So let's go ahead and just add to cart real quick. Let's see. If Brother Polite knows, oh my goodness, where PayPal came from. How people are sending their money to PayPal when Polite don't have no clue as to how PayPal can be getting their customers if he's been done with them for years and years and years. Now, he, he see, you got to watch the hustle trick because he tells the people, no. We actually use, and I can't remember because this guy is so outside. We actually use, what's the thing he said he used? Stripe. Stripe. He said, no, I use Stripe. When people go on my internet, what they do on our website, what they do is they put their own credit card information in. And yes, family, this is true. Because if you go, you could go. I'll, put, I'll, I'll click, um, excuse me, I'll click new customer real quick. I'm going to click, you know, check out as guest real quick. And we're going to continue. All right. So now, yeah, I put my email address in, I put my phone number, my address, etc. I go to the next link, and then I put my credit card information in there. Facts. So the brother's telling the truth on that. But however, he don't know where the PayPal account is coming from, how people money is going to PayPal. Well, let's just hit it. Let's just click that real quick. Let's see if he is genuine to the people. And the people are so dumb and silly that they will reject that which is good for them and accept the people that want to use a forked tongue to manipulate the minds of the people. Because let me tell you, a liar must use the truth in order to get the lie to come across as being authentic. All right. So so we about to get out of here. But look, check this out. I didn't even mean to do that. But you see right there, it says $35. Let's 
This is my wife, um, PayPal right here. So we can log in and all of that stuff and order the book from PayPal right now on this guy website. So family, that's all I'm going to put down. The point of this little quick video is to show you that we've been telling you the truth for so many years and it's all up to you. So go ahead, go follow, go do what you want to do. Go pick your group, claim your set. But at the end of the day, when you catching that damn hell, because you going after lies, and then most of the people that is doing this manipulation bang on religion. They bang on the Christianity. They bang on the Buddhists. They bang on the Islam. They bang on systems that claim some type of morality and ethics, ethics that say don't manipulate a lot of people. I'm not saying go to religion. All I'm saying is, is that people that are banging on religion actually are manipulating the people more than the punctified scammer, pre preacher, pastor, imam, etc. So I guess a devil is a devil at the end of the day. So we out of here, family. If you missed it, go back, check it out. But. He are in...